New at 6.45 this morning, Cookies for a Cause. This morning we take you into the world of C. Krugers. The cookie line from Cheryl Kruger, who launched her new company after selling Cheryl's cookies back in 2005. But in this second go around, Cheryl is battling something bigger beyond the kitchen. The finest very berry strawberry buttercream ice. Do you have fun coming up with the names of these? Yeah, our marketing department does. They, 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 they merchandising. Cheryl Kruger is pretty soft spoken, unlike some of her cookie fans. Bourbon pecan. Now we're talking. But Cheryl is now speaking out loud and clear about Parkinson's, a disease she says she can no longer deny. I have to have assistance and walking in a restaurant with this, you know, people kind of look at you, but you know what? I'm out there living my life and, and I, I'm not gonna let this disease dictate to me, you know, what, what I can and can't do. Earlier this month, C. Kruger's Finest Baked Goods, based in Reynoldsburg, announced a year-long partnership with the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. A portion of all sales from 12 specially selected cookie boxes will help develop treatment for the next generation of Parkinson's patients. As the disease progresses, then you have to take and admit the fact that, okay, it's going to be harder for me to tie my shoes, it's going to be harder for me to button my clothes, it's going to be harder for me to drive. But beyond filling up baskets of goodies, Cheryl hopes by sharing her story openly for the first time, more people will understand the journey, the challenges, and the hope. I think, well, if I have Parkinson's, do they think I'm going to be good enough to sit on their boards? Or am I, as, as, you know, if we go to a show, they're gonna, I'm gonna have to dra I would drag the group down, so I would, I would decline going to programs and so on. So I'm, I don't want to be a burn to anybody. For this cookie queen, the philanthropy effort is personal. And it's a really exciting time right now if you have Parkinson's because there's a lot of breaking technology that's starting to surface that will help make our comp help make our disease hopefully extinct. And she hopes cookie lovers will see how the Fox Foundation's $1.5 billion raised to date is making a difference. We're on the cusp right now of having medicine to fix Parkinson's and hope that the next two years um, that we'll have a cure. We're gonna split it. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, that's right. To a cure for Parkinson's. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I could eat lots of cookies to that toast, but Cheryl <laughs> says this partnership for her is the perfect combination of passion, power, and positivity. The foundation also released a statement saying in part that these treatments would not be possible without the support of our team, Fox community, and powerful stories like Cheryl's and C. Kruger's. And it's just great because as more people talk about it, we saw mm -hmm. it just this week, yeah. uh, comedian Richard Lewis mm -hmm. announced he had Parkinson's, other famous people. I think they're breaking that stigma, but also raising awareness about the research. And it's so great she's out there. And I think many people would agree with me that Cheryl, if Cheryl's on your board, your board is doing big things. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. Yeah. It's moving great. that needle. And it also looks delicious. I know. Yeah. I was like, I'm really time. sorry. I did yeah. have cookies and I left them in my freezer. Yeah. I forgot them. Yeah. She, may have she eaten shouldn't them. even told mm -hmm. us that. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have even told yep. us that. That's, That's true. where we're going for our break this morning. <laughs>